uh, version 2. I just made a couple modifications so it doesn't break like last time. The centering rings are twice as thick. Um, and the metal rods go all the way through them, not like before. The fins are working fine. I'll just show you how they get assembled. The centering rings here have holes through both of them. Now, and the metal rod, if you can see here, has a 90 degree bend in it. And that'll stop right there. Now, on here you can see the bend on these two that I've put in. I'm then going to glue a centering ring onto here, holding those in. That way I don't have to glue the rods themselves because epoxy, it's kind of hard to make it bond to the metal. I'll show you how this goes in. Put the rod in. Put your spacer. And then you start off your um, fin. You add your spring right into here. Then move it on. And push it through the second tube until you get to here. Or you put in your second spring. And then finally a second spacer. And then you gotta push it into your hole. It's a little hard to line up. Right, there you go. So these things right here, these um bends in it. And this right here are going to um stop the metal rods from sliding out the back and they can't come out the front because of the bend. Uh, these two centering rings are going to be epoxied on. I'm going to put the tube onto here, but I don't have the tube yet, so I'm going to get it from the vendor at the launch. That's pretty much how it works. So you can see, they deploy really well. All right.